Hey everybody, it's Gigi. Well, I have part one of my little black bag haul and I was gonna wait until I had my makeup done and my hair was done and everything looked perfect, but this video never would have gotten done and we'd still be waiting. And little black bag would have been sold to poise. Oh, that already happened. Sorry. Um, very, very short condensed version. Little Black Bag used to be a monthly subscription service. You would go online, you would buy a bag, you'd get a couple stuff for free, and then you would trade with other people, but that's no longer how it works. So I'm going to save all of that. They had a huge couple week sale because they were trying to clean out all the inventory. I mean, like crazy sales, and that's the only reason I even did all of this haul. I mean, crazy as in I, in total, between bags and jewelry and home accessories and shoes. I spent a little under, I calculated last night, a little under $200 and that included shipping and handling and got a little over $3,000 worth of stuff because I may have bought a bag to open up everything for like $39. That bag had been long traded and I wound up getting a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff for that one bag because at the end everybody was just trading to get you know the best bag that they possibly could before you know the site went down so I'm not gonna quote this is how much I bought this for because in theory I bought about two four items and that incorporated the whole money everything else was basically kind of for free since you know I only paid X amount for all of this stuff so Little Black Bag is no longer in business. It's now Poise.com. If you want to go to Poise.com, check it out. Feel free. And that's basically all I'm going to say about that. I'm going to go over the products. Again, I'm not going to really say how much I paid because I don't know. And um, just keep in mind, a little under, a little over $200 for a little under, a little over $3,000 in retail. But a lot of the retail, I would never have spent that much money for an item. So like this first thing I'm going to show you. The retail price is $120 for these shoes. I'm like $29.99 maybe, but I actually bought these shoes. They were, I added them to my bag for $10. 10, one, zero, not one, zero, $10. So I'm gonna go for it. And I'm gonna try to make this as short as possible. And then I will do another one with the purse and sunglasses. So. Keep a lookout for that because I got some Betty Johnson Sunnies. I love Betty Johnson. Betsy blew that. And I'm not editing this, so I'm just going to go for it. And some Ivanka Trumps. Woohoo! Anyway, the first thing I got are Shillies. Look at this shoebox. There's a strap. Isn't that cute? And then it opens. Uh -huh. That was the box, not me, I swear. It opens like this. Uh -huh. Again, not me. So these actually are so cute. Well, for 100, these are retail for $120. So they should have come in a shoe bag. So if you can see, they come in their own little shoe bag with a drawstring. I didn't check the bottom. Vintage apparel. So I'm not going to take them both out, but I have one. I don't know who I thought I was in buying these shoes. I'm five foot nothing, and we're not going to go into my age or weight, but let's just say I have no idea how I'm going to work these shoes. So basically, I bought a whole lot of shoes as my new weight incentive to lose weight. After you see some of these shoes, well, it looks like I'm going to be a pole dancer. Isn't that frightening? Um, but if nothing else, I'll be a little taller. Anyway, um, all of the shoes I got were between a six and a half and a seven. So these were so organized. These are a size 10, I mean seven. Aren't they cute? That's the bottom of it. These ran narrow. So I'm not really happy with that. I mean, they're like really, really narrow, but they are great quality. So they're a great quality, really love them. So that is brand one. Same company. 
we have these, which are the bow tie ones. Doo -doo. Love the inside. They're made of like a suede. Well made, well put together, which would be the same thing as well made. Sorry about that. And uh, very tall. There's the detail. Love these. And I, if I show you every little nook and cranny of these, it's going to be a very long video. So I'm going to do the accelerated version. Came in the same kind of little box with the same kind of little baggie. And then the next one, I've got this thing for platforms, I'm assuming. This is the next one. And these have, they're kind of silver and gold material. They kind of feel like a upholstery, to be honest with you. Nice little buckle that matches. And these, same company, and they are called rushed leather, which I don't understand why. But I must say, this letter, le leather, we can speak. This leather is uh, very soft. So, again, these are in a size 7. Black leather. Ooh, these are called black leather sophisticated late. I only amuse myself. So, let me get these back in here really quick. Okay. Now, these are going to make you laugh. I have no idea who I think I am. Why, for a moment, I thought these were going to look good on me. Or that I would even wear them. But, these were... Uh... Let's see, the first one I showed you were $120. These retail as $100. The second pair I showed you retailed at $130. The last pair I showed you retailed at $110. These are, hmm, you're gonna laugh. I'm just so pathetic. Uh, let's hope I know how to edit this. Oh, come on. Well, these are baby fats and I can't find them. See, now that I'm looking at them, I should be able to find them right away. Yep, these retail at $59. So never going to work. They run very thin. <laughs> yeah, I could take somebody's eye out with this. <sighs> no idea what I was thinking. But they'll look, uh, they'll look cute on, uh, <laughs> no idea. <laughs> and they run very, very small in here. And Maybe my daughter. But anyway, these are a six and a half. And these are baby fats. And there should be a name to these. Mesh Sandal Black. And they're Gable. G-A-B-L-E. Uh, one of the things I meant to tell you guys, this is so the accelerated version, I'm sorry, is because of the fact that they were going out of business, every single box I got was so covered in dirt just warehouse kind of dirt so i don't know if you can see this probably not because i've got so many lights on but anyway it was covered in dirt so i would recommend that if you have a little back bag coming soon definitely unpack your boxes and take like a little wipey and wipe off your boxes before you start opening them because i opened up my boxes i didn't realize how filthy my hands were and then i went to go pick up my first bag and I was afraid I'd get some on my bag. So, dirty, wash hands, baby fat. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, let's go to, these are 
Nicole's. And I really, really like these. Again, something about the platform. These are hopefully a little bit truer, though. Aren't they cute? And they have a little thing that goes on your ankle. But I must say, this is really cheaply made. Look, I can't even get it to turn. So this is a really, really fine piece of leather, which I can see strapping out, strapping, I mean, coming off if I'm not careful. But these were also only $10. And they say that they retail for $128. And these are Nicole um, Avid Wedges. Very cute, kind of the faux crushed leather kind of thing. The bottom, the little tassels. And I also want to say that of my items, which were like 54 of them, I had heard a lot of stories about how Little Black Bag was sending out the wrong sizes, stuff they hadn't even ordered. All my package came out perfect. Everything I ordered as far as I was missing two items, but everything that I did receive were the right sizes, nothing was damaged. I feel very fortunate. However, I am missing one pair of shoes and one Olivia Enjoy bag which oddly enough, the Olivia and Joy bag I'm missing was the bag I opened all this stuff with. So I've emailed customer service, but of course they haven't gotten to me. They haven't been answering their phones for the past three days. So I'm kind of hoping they get their act together um, because it's we're talking that actual bag I paid for. So uh, we need something resolved. I'm hoping there's absolutely nothing else, little rant, there's nothing else that could have fit in these three, four boxes. I mean, they were filled to the rim. So there's no way they could have put another shoe box and another bag in those boxes. So I'm hoping it's a box that's coming by itself, but you would think it'd be here already. So hope, ooh, look at the bottom of that. That's what I was talking about. I didn't actually think to sweep the bottom. Anyway, these are called Pink and Pepper. Why don't you guys tell me I'm rambling? Ah. I really like these. Somebody kept trying to trade me for these and I'm like, I don't want them, I don't want them, I don't want them. They're a size seven and a half, I don't want them. I'm so glad I traded for them. <laughs> they are a seven and a half and they fit perfect. Focus. They have that little, little thingy between your toes, which I don't usually like. It has a little bitty heel on it. And these were regular $49. And I think I traded a pair of shoes and a pair of socks and a couple jewelries for this, which I didn't pay for because they were just part of the swaps. So these retail 49, really like them. These are seven and a half. Nothing special about the box, just a regular shoe box. Nothing special. And then we have Madeline and these are To Speed FC, attention John Wingate. So these are obviously a return. Oh, that picks me off. I didn't even notice that. No wonder there's a damage in the box. Okay, not happy with that. However, with that being said, the shoes themselves are actually in good condition. So, they're probably a return. A box is a box. I'm not stressed over it too much. I sound like I am, but I'm not really. So, these were retail of $69. I actually added this pair to bag, which means I paid $10 for them. Crazy sale. Love these. I'm trying to get the paper out of it. Aren't they cute? I really love them, love the material, love the colors. And these are a size seven. Even if they were returned, I don't think they were wore because the bottom is really still intact. So, like these. 
Put them back in there. I've got like a little wall of shoes going on here. The next pair is by Wanted. And I got a pair of these for me and a pair of these for my daughter. Call me crazy. And I only paid... These are regular retail of $50. I actually only paid, I think, $4 for these. Love the little paper that comes into it, like a little gift. <laughs> these look really big. They're tunies. And they have little lace in them, lace is see-through. And uh, do we know why I like these? It's got a platform. <laughs> so I got these in a, in a seven. And then I went on a couple days later and the sale was still going on. And these were actually only $3. So I bought another pair for my daughter in a smaller size. So shh, don't tell her. So these are my wanted. And then we have Go Max. I really like these. And what I'm looking at is my <clears throat> log of what I purchased, and it's telling me what the retails are. So, Go Max, retail of $49. I haven't even opened these yet. Ooh, I like these. that itty bitty heel I have no idea what that means but very well put together the strap for over the um, ankle area very pretty they're detailed with gold and I would say this is um, almost an olive color so, very cute. They feel very sturdy, firm, like these. And again, these are by Wanted. And to be honest, I don't think any of these shoes are still on the site. You can go check them out. Again, poise.com. Formerly Little Black Bag. But I've checked out the site since it went live like seven or eight times. And it's crashed all seven or eight times. So you know what? I've given up. I, I've done my damage. I'm not looking to do any more. So these are by they're called um, Black Plots. They're by BC. And these were regular $55. And these were I got them off of a trade. They're probably going to go to my daughter's because they're running really thin. So they're by, um, because I throw caution to the wind. That's cute. So a nice pair of flats for the summer. Nice leather. I like the way it's put together. So nice pair of flats. And I like this box too. So, kind of cool. Uh, let's see. I'm actually blocking my light. These are Nylas. Pole dancing, here we come. I'm almost embarrassed to show you. Ah, these are called Cecile Leather Uppers. <laughs> no idea what I was thinking. But they were only ten dollars. <laughs> so this is my protection. Tell me I couldn't take somebody's eye out with this. Boing! They're beautiful. They are a deep Kelly green. Look how shiny that is. The toe is pretty pointed. And this is all a solid. Oh, I must say, there is 
that much of a chunk to it. So it's actually only, if you're considering the chunk, it's only about that tall. But they're also big on me. So I don't know what I'll do with them. But they're cute! They're my wannabe pole dancing shoes. Near, near, near. I have no respect. I have no, no self-respect. But if you think those were good, and no, I'm gonna leave those for last. <laughs> Here's another pair of Madelines. I'm almost done. I only have two more pairs left. These are like the other pair, the bluish colored ones. These are $69. So just like the little bluey ones. Aren't they beautiful? It's coming off kind of pink. Oh, that's a little better. And again, it feels like material. It feels like sofa material. I wish I knew what that material was. It Strappy wedge sandal, that's all it says. Red. Aren't they cute? So, these, very cute. So, as you can see, I mean, just in all of these alone, that's a lot of money. Just in these, I'm going to stop stacking. Then I have another Nicole. These are, <laughs> it says these retail for $129. I must say I liked them better online. Of all of the shoes, I like these better online. Would you pay $129 for these? The brand is Nicole, N-I-C-O-L-E. I don't know. It doesn't feel like $129 leather. But you know what? It does feel like it's genuine leather. So anyway, little frillies, tan. It's not really, it says it's red, but I would say it's almost like a deep coral. So like them, don't love them, should have traded them. I had a lot of trade offers for those, but I didn't. And I think this video is already at 20 minutes, so I apologize. I have one more pair of shoes. But before I do that, I'll show you one pair of sunnies. These are my Ivanka Trump sunglasses. All of the sunglasses, I'm sorry, let me get to my Ivanka Trump sunglasses here. Okay, can't find them. But these were, the tag says $68. And I bought these with tax and shipping, $3.71. All of their sunglasses were $3 at one point in time. Their little Ivanka Trump logo. Not dork. <laughs> so they're purple. I love them. Oh, okay. We're going to put those up there. Okay. Last. Ah, but not least. Oh, I'll tell you the Ivaca sunglasses also came in a cover that says Ivanka Trump. Yeah. I'm trying to postpone the stupid shoes. So I'll show you the other two sunglasses I got. These are um, the Betsy Johnsons. They come in a little bag as well. Everybody wanted these. I got really lucky and I was probably hit the buy button just about the time everybody else did. They feel a little cheaper than what I had wanted them to do, but you know, they is what they is when you only pay $3.71. But, oh, Ivanka Trump's for 68, there they are. 
These were regular $60 sunglasses I got for $3.71. I like, it looks like a little lace right up here with her lips, her name there, the cute little heart, and so I like them. I go through sunglasses a lot, so I'm always unfortunately scratching them or losing them. So let's see if I can be a better mommy to sunglasses. Put them back in their bags. Here's the other one. Let's put it back in its bag. Do, do, do. Are we having fun yet? That's a lot of stuff. And I've been talking you guys' ear off. Thank you so much. Don't forget to share this video. Have I amused you a little? If so, remember to press like. And by all means, remember to subscribe because I'm just getting back in the swing of my videos and inevitably they're going to be more stupid. <laughs> These were SPLs. They were regular 30 something dollars and I got them again for $3 and 71 cents. Isn't that bow cute? I like them. These are actually the cheapest pair and I think I like them more. So those are my sunnies. Okay, now I will end the video with the most stupid shoes I probably bought of this entire thing. I bought them because of who the brand was. I bought them because apparently, I think I'm gonna be a stripper someday. And they were only $10. Let's keep in mind, they were only $10. That has got to be the only thing I was thinking about because they're regular hunt retail, $100. They're Jessica Simpsons. Mm. <laughs> oh, they're both in the open. So, I'm sorry, really, I'm trying to get them out of here fast. It's the color. I love purple and fuchsia. That's got to be the only reason. It has this little plastic thing in it. So apparently I should keep that in there and keep it shaped. What in the world was I thinking? This is like crushed velvet. There you go. Crushed velvet. This is faux leather. There's your inside. <laughs> nice little strap. Because heaven knows I'd be able to uh, walk in them if they didn't have the strap. No idea what I was thinking. But aren't they beautiful? <laughs> so, these are Jessica Simpsons. They retail at for $100. I think they actually are very well put together. And if you think, I'm rationalizing this. Look at the platform. So it automatically takes off, what, that much? So technically, it's only that big of a heel. I'm a fat fall on my fat ass. I just know it. So your next video will be coming from the hospital room. Ba -dum -ba so that is the end of my little black bag now poise shoe haul. And the next will be all of my bags and their candles. So look for the other videos. They should be out soon. Bye guys. Talk to you later.